This is Renegade, which is our uh, completed drag racing uh, car that we finished back in spring and uh, kind of take you through and show you the systems that we have in it. So in the back, we have uh, two full uh, stacks of 23 sealed lead acid batteries. Those provide uh, just over 300 volts um, and currents uh, over 1,000 amps. We have a uh, 2,000 amp uh, fuse in the back, which uh, it's a one-off one fuse. It basically means that if it blows, we have to replace the uh, entire fuse and possibly some of the batteries. Uh, we also have a kill switch and charging cable in the back. And how long does it take to charge? Uh, from low, about two days, because uh, we're At limited by the current. Uh, one ten. We're limited by the current that we can use here, just so we don't blow the circuit in the lab. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, we charge around fifteen amps into the into the charger itself, not into the car. So once that uh, gets converted, uh, it's a little lower, probably around ten to eleven. And then the range, if you didn't go at a breakneck speed? Uh, it's actually something we were never really able to test, but we kind of guesstimated around 20 miles. This car weighs about 3,000 pounds, 1,800 of which are just the batteries alone. And the main reason why we never bothered to calculate that exactly was because since it was a drag racer, it wasn't really an everyday vehicle anyway, so we weren't as concerned with the range as um, we were with things like top speed and uh, acceleration. And uh, I know I've missed this, and the top speed is? Top speed with a fully charged, uh, up-to-date lead-acid battery set. Um, these are extremely old, and there's actually some crystallization because uh, before we joined the team, um, they just weren't kept in optimal condition. Um, we were thinking around 110 miles an hour, which uh, is something we definitely could have could have uh, matched. Um, so in the back we have a Ford F-150 differential. Up front we have a Zilla 2 kiloamp uh, motor controller. This is a brushed motor controller, uh, maximum of 2,000 amps, and uh, we use that to power our two 11-inch DC motors. So it's Warp 11s. Um, they're actually industrial motors, um, and we calculated uh, around 300, 350 horsepower out of this whole car. So we run them in series with a uh, custom chain tensioner that was designed by a mechanical engineering student. And that runs back the shaft of the car back to the differential. 